Next, we're going to take a look at multiplication with decimals using the partial products method. The first thing that we want to do is look at our problem. 1 and 2 tenths times 5. Step 1 is always to make a magnitude estimate. So I'm going to take a look at 1 and 2 tenths, and I'm going to round that to 1, and I'm going to keep 5 as 5. So my magnitude estimate is 5. That means that my answer is going to be in the 1s. The tricky thing about magnitude, using a magnitude estimate is then we're going to take out the decimal problem. We're going to take the decimal right out of that problem. And we're then going to multiply it as though it didn't have a decimal. So we are now going to call this number 12, and we're going to write it in expanded notation. So 12 would be 10 plus 2, and 5 is going to stay as 5. We're going to create our box and solve the problem. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 10 is 50. I'm going to do my addition on the side. 50 plus 10 is 60. Now, 60 isn't the answer to this problem. I now need to go back to what my magnitude estimate was. My magnitude estimate tells me that this answer should be in the ones. So that means that that's where I'm going to insert my decimal plate. I'm going to Point. I'm going to insert my decimal point in the place that will make this answer in the ones. So if I put it in, I have the solution to my problem. 1 and 2 tenths times 5 equals 6. We're going to follow the same process when we're working on the second problem, which is just a problem with the larger numbers. 42 and 6 tenths times 3 and 9 tenths. So first, I need to make my magnitude estimate. I'm going to round. 42 and 6 tenths, I'm going to round to 40. 3 and 9 tenths, I'm going to round to 4, which gives me um, a magnitude estimate of 40 times 4, which is 160. That tells me that my answer is probably going to be in the hundreds place. Now remember, we're then going to solve the problem by acting as though the decimal weren't there. So 426 is 400 plus 20 plus 6. On the left side, I'm going to write my second digit. 39 is 30 plus 9. I'm going to create my box and multiply using my extended multiplication facts. 30 times 6 is 180. 30 times 20 is 600. 30 times 400 is 12,000. 9 times 6 is 54. 9 times 20 is 180. 9 times 400 is 3,600. Remember in the last video, I talked about adding um, right from the box to create less numbers to add in the column. So I'm going to start over here. 12,000 plus 3,600 is 15,600. 600 plus 180 is 780. And 180 plus 54 is 234. Now I'm going to bring these numbers over to the side. And I'm going to add them up. And my number looks like the answer should be 16,614. What I have to remember at this point is that I need to go back and look at what my estimate was. My magnitude estimate told me that my number should be in the hundreds. So I need to look at my number and insert the decimal point in the place that will give me an answer in the hundreds. If I insert my decimal place right here, then I'll have an, the answer 166 and 14 hundreds. That is the correct answer to this problem. I hope this helps you solve the method.